Some students at Perry High School have an appetite for spreading kindness. They call themselves the Lunch Bunch, and now they're making lasting friendships. How's your guys' day going? It's lunchtime at Perry High School. So tell me about yourself. When 3,600 students fill out a classroom <laughs> and into the quad and cafeteria for one of three lunch sessions. But not every kid eats with friends. The connection kind of happened when I realized like I was part of that group that was like sitting alone and wanted other people to talk to. Sophia remembers what it felt like being the new girl, alone and lonely at lunch. I didn't have a lot of friends. It was kind of hard to meet new people. And I realized like it wasn't just me that was having that same issue. So Sophia got an idea. The idea of Lunch Bunch is to make sure that nobody at lunch is sitting by themselves that wants people to interact with and sit with during lunch. The mission is to make sure no one is starving for friendship. Hey, how are you? That's nice. How's your day going? For new kids, the Lunch Bunch is a blessing. I'm used to actually going to a school with only 143 students. So it was a really big change. Cameron remembers feeling overwhelmed and alone sitting by the C building when Sophia approached. She's like, you want to come sit with us? So I was like, yeah, why not? But I was kind of like, I don't know if I really want to at first, but I was like, I don't have any friends. So Cameron took that reluctant leap and almost immediately formed some great friendships. I've been hanging out with them and we've had sleepovers and We've gone to the mall and stuff after school. So now Cameron helps the lunch bunch, paying it forward, reaching out to other students, feeling invisible. <laughs> Aditi spent the summer missing her old friends, wishing she was still in Florida, dreading a new school. But the lunch bunch changed that. Now I really like Perry High School and I don't want to go back to Florida. Just imagine being seen by a peer who acknowledges you matter. We have a table over there under the Ramada if you want to come sit with us. The lunchtime commitment to seek out new friends stronger than any other craving. That's pretty cool. We have one corner where nobody is sitting by themselves. First step, Miss Cagle. We did it. We did it. Guidance counselor Holly Cagle couldn't be prouder of Sophia and the lunch bunch. I want kids to be to realize the power that they have to make someone's day and how far that goes. <laughs> Sophia will graduate this year, but her lunch bunch legacy will continue to feed the soul. Anyway, have a good rest of your day. Yeah. Such a great story. Word of the Lunch Bunch is now spreading quickly with two other Chandler schools already showing interest in starting their own.